Station. It's an entertainment branding company. It's kind of got this inherent music background. Its founders were Jay-Z, hip-hop mogul, superstar, and Steve Stout, who kind of helped manage Nas's early career and then went on to become president of Interscope Records. So we've done things like we've hooked Justin Timberlake up with McDonald's, we've hooked Samsung up with Beyonce, and Chris Brown up with Wrigley, amongst other things. Um, then in my non-work life, I'm a total geek. I love technology. I love the internet. These are just some of the places I live online. And today I'm kind of going to do a little bit of how we can go beyond MySpace and social media and with music. Have any of you guys heard of Keisha Kutra? Did I say that right? Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, so short form presentation, 20 slides, 20 seconds for each slide, um, automatic timer, so we've got about five minutes left and 17 other slides or 16 other slides. Um, so let's start talking about social media first, just kind of get the ground level set. What the fuck is social media? Really? I mean, even social media experts can't agree on a single definition. So it's kind of an umbrella term. It's referring to tools, platforms, ways that we can kind of collaborate, ways that we can share, ways that we can publish content. And it's not a fact. It's an innate way or innate change in the way that we're communicating, the way we're sharing stuff with people. It's not going away anytime soon. Radio took 38 years to reach 50 million people. Facebook gained 100 million, or 100 million users in less than nine months. So it's something that we have to be paying attention to. And as people in the music business, we have to think about what we're actually trying to share with people. Music, right? But we don't want to meet someone and in the same handshake say, hey, how are you? I'm Rosie. Can I borrow a dollar? So we've got to think about how to capture their attention in other ways. So we've got to rethink music. A worldwide, a worldwide rave is when um, people around the world are talking about you. It's when global communities eagerly link to your stuff on the web. It's when online buzz drive buyers to your virtual doorstep. And it's when tons of fans visit your website and blog because they genuinely want to be there. So we all want that, whether we're musicians, whether we're managers of music, musicians, publicists. We have to rethink how we think about music. So music, as content, is first a service and an experience, and only then maybe a product. So different experiences you have putting on a vinyl record or going to a Jay-Z concert, different curations, but we're still seeing a musical experience. We're still seeing more than selling of a little plastic disc, which in my opinion is kind of where the record labels got it wrong. Um, the time is now. Everyone's putting themselves out there, so you have no reason to be scared. You can look at what other people are doing. You can be curious yourself. Try something new. See where everything is going. 